bit of a sticky wicket today. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Exactly. Well said. Hot, humid, the hottest day we've had so far this week. Storms knocking at the door. We'll have relief by this time tomorrow, but we're not going to get much tonight. So we are looking at a more active period for the next 24 hours as far as showers and storms. It's not going to rain that whole time, but it's going to be on and off from now through about 8 to 9 o'clock tomorrow night as a cold front comes through. I know a lot of folks just like to sit out there and sweat, uh, but not everybody a fan of the sticky wicket, you know? 88 in Clarksville, sunshine, blue skies right there, and clearly nothing to stunt the heat for you. Lawrenceburg, smoking, 90 degrees for the lovers on the plaza, right? No dancers tonight, probably a little too hot for that. Once that cold front comes through, it is going to feel more comfortable to go outside. So I wanted to start with a big picture on satellite and radar just to show you kind of the waves that are on their way in. Notice one tried to come through earlier. It's right here, but it's essentially rained itself out. But as we travel further to the west, you can see another area of storms blossoming near the boot heel of Missouri. We've got another area down towards Little Rock. So waves, pockets of showers and storms will be the theme. Now you get some raindrops and you will cool down briefly, but it's also just going to feel steamy once those raindrops re-evaporate back into the atmosphere. So a few st uh, stray showers trying to touch or at least dance into our western tier. We did have some thunderstorms come in through Dyersburg, but they've rained themselves out, so there's just not much left. Pitter patter of a couple raindrops in Carroll County. All in all, that first line, it has petered itself out. Now this one is starting to blossom just a bit from Poplar Bluff in Missouri up towards southern portions of Illinois. I do expect this to hold together and likely bring a couple showers and storms to our western tier of our Kentucky counties. These storms are moving due east, so no real southerly component to them, but they should also weaken as they get closer to us. We'll be after sunset, so we lose some fuel. Also, there isn't just a ton of instability. There's not a lot of fuel in place as it moves into our area. That being said, it shouldn't fall apart completely. Here's your rain chances overnight tonight. So from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So we've got a couple blips around the midnight 1 a.m. time frame, then same thing right around daybreak, but not a soaker. The theme for tomorrow, hands down, is some will get soaked, while others are just gonna deal with steamy, sweltering conditions until the front clears us and then it feels better for everybody. Visually, this is what it looks like. So that cluster I showed you coming into the boot heel, likely in our area between midnight and one falling apart. But don't be surprised if you hear a couple rumbles overnight tonight, the pitter patter of some briefly heavy downpours, nothing more than that. Once we get into the afternoon hours tomorrow, this is mid morning, 10 a.m., little lull. Then after lunchtime is when our front comes through, we'll have some scattered showers and storms with the front. This may impact your drive time home tomorrow, maybe picking the kids up from camp, whatever it is they're doing during the day, summer school, and then it finally starts to quiet down by late tomorrow night, and it leaves us with an incredible weekend. 81 degrees, low humidity on Friday, mid 80s Saturday. That humid, kind of steamy feel is gonna start to work back in on Sunday, but we stay dry. Unsettled conditions, no severe weather, more of that summertime kind of afternoon chances for showers and storms starts Monday, continues through most of next week. I think if we've got a dry, fairly comfortable weekend, though, Rory, I think we can all call that a win.